Hello there, and welcome back to Drunk Approach. And today we're flying something pretty exciting. It's the Flight Factor 777-200ER. We'll just call it the 777, because that's easier. But this plane I bought, really expensive. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how much it is because you can check for yourself. And to be honest, I don't want you to judge me. As you can see already, the detail is unbelievable. I mean, you've got these little, these little guys sort of hanging about, chatting, talking about the football result of the weekend and, and and planes probably. You can see it's had a bit of wearing, there's a bit of marking. I mean, look at this. The detail is absolutely incredible. I love the brown. I love the brown, it's classy. So many planes look sort of dull and gray and blue on the inside, but this, it's got an element of luxury. It's like a, an old leather chair in, a, in an English cottage. A quick look in the, in the cabin as well, where the passengers sit, and just the detail on each of these seats is amazing. You've got a little office, basically, in first class. I've never been on one of these planes, so I don't know how accurate it is, but it really does look pretty detailed. And then this is where the cattle go, but you can just see how wide the plane is. We got a toilet. And some of the features in this are crazy, which we will go through. But let's start by going up here and switching the damn thing on. So we're gonna go battery, and then our GPUs are already connected, so we'll go primary external power and secondary external power. Basically switch everything that says off, on. Nice, we'll also arm our emergency lights, we'll put our window heat on, we'll put these left and right hydraulic pumps on for now. We've got another smoking and seat belts on and we'll stick our nav lights on as well. We've also turned our gasper on now and our upper and lower recirc fans, recirc fans. I think it's recirculation. I think that's what that stands for. Temperature, we'll stick to auto and we'll go left packs on auto, right packs on auto, trim airs on and we will stick these bits and bobs on as well. We'll have a look down here, make sure our radios are switched on. They are not, so on and on. One of the really impressive things about this plane is it has an EFB, an electronic flight bag, and this thing has been custom made for this plane. Now, one of the really cool things about this is I can connect to my Navigraph. So if I go get data from Simbrief, I've got a flight plan and everything in there. There we go. Newcastle to Berlin. That's what we're doing. That is great. I'm gonna do simplified loading today just because it's just a bit quicker. But you can, if you go into airplane and then into uh, weight and balance. Yes, you can do it through, through all that as well. But what we'll do today, simplified loading. And again, there's a button that says fill from Simbrief. Click that and it just pops it all in. Saves so much time and effort and it's all interconnected and that's a wonderful thing. So we're gonna now click load airplane. Look at that, if, as if by magic, this bit of paper's appeared out of nowhere. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll click that, disappears. Goes to here, click that, it disappears again. Well, where the bloody hell's it gone? Here, that's where it is. Click it again, it rotates the right way around and on it we have all of our weights, our passenger numbers, everything we need. Now looking at the outside of the plane, yes, that's looking good. Passengers can get on the, the stairs, but there's no bus here for the passengers to arrive on. And also we have these cargo doors open, but nothing's loading them. But we can go in here, go menu, go airplane, and we go ground service. So let's press next, and then we get this other page, and let's get some loaders here. Now, when you click that, it says, no, we can't do that. You need to establish communications with the crew. We go down here and on your um, MCDU or CDU, uh, the third one in the middle, this one is how you communicate with all the staff on board the plane and the ones tending to the plane outside. So we need the ground crew. So we're just gonna flick through until ground crew illuminates on the screen there it is so we're gonna go ground crew and now we're calling them we're calling the ground crew good to hear you sir the ground personnel is at your service and there we go 
So on here, you can control the doors and everything like that, um, but it's easier just to go here and do it that way. So let's now request our loaders and let's get the bus to arrive as well with the passengers on. So we click bus and you're thinking, well, where are they? Where's my loaders? Where, where is it? Where's my bus? They fall from the sky. There's no reason for it. They could just appear, but no, instead they fall from the sky and there's our bus. Our bus has just fallen from the sky as well. And let's talk to our purser. So our purser's in charge of all the doors and stuff. So which one was the purser? Which button was it? Was this one? Yes. Click that. Good day, sir. Now that we've done that, we can control the door. Airplane, doors, and there we go. So we have this back right door open for some reason. And there we go, there's our pesky door. So we're gonna click door five right. Of course, sir. Of course, sir. And it closes. It is faffy. Just to close a door, I have to call someone, then get this screen up and, you know, it's, it's not intuitive. So the FMC, very similar to what you have seen before. So let's go to position in it um, and put in some details. So we're at Newcastle, pop that in. I think we were gate 25, not in database. Well, fuck you. Okay, so we're gonna click route and then we're gonna put in our route information. So we already know it's EGNT. I've saved the, the flight plan which we can find in the system by going EGNT, E, D, D, B. And I think it's saved with a zero one on the end for, for some reason. Uh, and we go co-route, uh, runway today is gonna be 25. And the flight number, let's call it BA4427. Yes. We press activate, we press execute. So let's go to our departure arrival now. So departure, we're going from runway 25. It's the girl 3X, Sid, good, execute. And then our arrival is there. Uh, we're landing at runway, what did I write down? 24 left, that's that one. Our star was Ket 24L. Yes, and our transition was Ketap. And we've got that too. Execute. Then we go back to our init ref page. We're gonna pop this out, there we go. I'm gonna go over to our load sheet here and we're gonna pop in some figures. So zero fuel weight, so that's 365.2, 365.2, zero fuel weight. Reserves of five, cost index of and then our cruising altitude is going to be three, nine, zero. Bang, take off. So our flaps are going to be five degrees. And then our CG percentage, uh, that's going to be the figure that says uh, MAC. So that's 28.3. So that's going to give us a trim of 4.25. And then we have our V speeds here. So I've just clicked them, V1, VR, and V2. Is popped them in. And that's all you have to do. So let's put our flight directors on. Flight director one, flight director two. We're also gonna pre-arm our LNAV and our VNAV. So APU will go on, oh, come on, on and then start. And then we can see here that the APU is starting. And we're gonna start closing some stuff up. So firstly, ground service. What do we need to remove? The loaders. Already on it. Bus. And Already as mysteriously as the bus appears, it disappears. It doesn't go back up into the sky, it just vanishes. And then our doors, so let's close up door one, the cargo door, Gladly. the aft cargo door, Gladly. and the inspection bay as well at the front. We're going to close all of that up. And then we can finally get rid of these stairs. There we go. Listening. Stairs gone. Let's go back inside and fire up some hydraulics. So well, let's look up here. I'm gonna pressurize the left one and the right one. This now illuminates APU gen, the APU generator. We can now push that and you can see 
uh, that one of the external powers is disconnected and then GPU, GPU. We're also going to remove the chocks while we're down here as well. So we're all looking good except we've got these people still here who are going to get run over by my massive plane unless they leave. Ground crew, we've got to call them again. I am here. I am um, here. And if we go to the next page, then the next page after that, request crew, and if I click that, they should fuck off. Very well, sir. All clear. I like how it calls me sir. Makes me feel important. I'm also just realizing if I press purser, call them. How can I help you? I can order food. And a coffee. Let's start with a coffee. If only I could. Can you not? That's a shame. Would have fancied one. We'll try her again in a bit. Maybe she's in a bad mood. Okay, let's go beacon lights on. We also now need to secure the flight deck, which we do down here with this little knob. And that, I believe, locks the door in case all the passengers who are not on the plane manage to get through. We'll put our transponder to Tara or Tara or whatever you want to call it. So we've only got fuel in the left and right tanks. So I think we only need that one, that one, that one, and that one. So usually on X-Plane you, you, you get a, a pushback thing. So it's usually done by AI, a little truck comes up, it pushes you back, you kind of choose where you want it to go, and that's it. This is different. This is a lot more hands-on. So we'll go airplane. Uh, and we'll go push back and press start push back. We are driving the tug. I'm a tug man. Okay, it's time to tug. So I'm going to go forwards. You control this with your throttle and the yoke. Kind of like driving a car. And we need to line this up with the front of the plane. Where's the plane? Oh, it's that side. Right, fine. We'll do a quick UE here. Don't mind me. So I need to line this up with my with my back end, and we're just going to slip my back end into the right place. So, I'm going to turn around. Okay, so now we're reversing my back end into this enormous plane. So left is left, and so left is right, and right is left. So if I go left. This should go right. Okay, that's good news. In we go. Sliding it in. Oh yes. Maybe there. Connect. Release brakes. Brakes are released. Brakes are released. Commencing pushback. Now I'm going to push back the plane with this tug. Yes. Look at this. It's great. And if I turn this way, it's going to turn the plane round. Look at me go. I'm doing that. So we'll just spin it round. Nice and easy. Honestly, I love this. This is, this is wonderful. Okay, we're going to stop. Stop. Click disconnect. Set brakes. Set the brakes. Park brakes set. It's not necessary, all this. You can just make it automatically do it, but it's an extra thing to do. I'm so good at tugging. Now that I've disconnected, a little man appears. And then do I drive it away? Thanks. Yes. See you at the hand signals. And there I go, my little man is following me. Exit stage right. Just go over there. He looks cross. Have I, have I done something wrong? What, mate? End process? We are done with the pushback. Pin removed. All clear. What's he gonna do here? Much appreciated. <gasps> That's a big pin, my friend. Very impressive. Wave off. Thank you. Wave off. Wave okay, off. Sir. Wave off. Is that his name? Oh. And there he goes. I liked him. He's different to the other guys. Now let's get the engine started. This is an exciting bit. So we go up here, um, and we're going to flick that. On to start, and then almost immediately we go down here, go to fuel control, and run. Another gin. Oh, yes. Now let's go for our other engine. Bang. 
go down, switch, and you can see on our central ECAS that figures are rising. Okay, so that's two good engines. So we're now going to switch off our APU like this. Off. We're going to set our anti ice to auto. Go down here and set our flaps to five. Our auto brakes here to RTO. Stab, which I believe is the trim. Fiddle with this a little bit. Trim is set to 4.25, and that's what we need. Well, it's time to taxi, so taxi lights on, uh, our runway turn off lights on and on. Make sure you catch part two of this video, and to see all my other content, drop me a subscribe. Go on, why not?